So you bought all the outfits from the shop. You go to your favorite character and you still notice they have a ton of slots open. Makes you think to yourself, I wish X outfit was in this game. Well, I'm gonna tell you my most requested outfits I like to see in Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. If there are any you wanna see that I didn't mention, drop them in the comments. Honorable mention goes to the white suit outfit for Krillin. It's always appreciated to see characters and outfits that aren't fighting related. The first outfit on this list should not come as a surprise to anyone. It's the Winter Feds Goku and Vegeta war during the Dragon Ball Super Super Broly film. I mean, let's think about it. There's hardly a time where we see these two wearing clothes that don't show off their muscles as well as clothes that are in cold weather. In this instance, we got both. Who would have imagined throwing a jacket over their traditional gear would give them the sauce? Dragon Ball Super Super Broly was a popular film and Dragon Ball Sparking Zero is a popular game. They should be there. Now, what could be better than these outfits? I think this next one could make an argument. The bad man outfit for Vegeta. It's hilarious how he only wore this because he didn't have his armor available. We almost got robbed of an iconic look. I love this outfit for him because it contrasts who Vegeta really is. He hardly ever smiles and always has a look of dissatisfaction on his face unless he's fighting a strong opponent that causes him to go all out. Outfit is too iconic to not have in Sparking Zero. Coming up next on the list is Bojack Trunks. Do I need to say anything more? Arguably the best Trunks has ever looked. What really makes this outfit is the jacket. Not a long jacket either. Can you even call it a jacket? That bit tiny. There's definitely an argument during the Z era Trunks was him. But he came through with a sword and slash fools up. We need to slash fools up with this outfit in Sparking Zero. You remember the episode Goku's Ordeal, where Piccolo had to wear regular clothes because he was getting his driver's license? Thank Chi Chi for that, because we got something special. The Piccolo Post Boy Outfit. Funny enough, these were clothes in Goku's closet. He had clothes on lock, but he likes training too much. The backwards cap, the Lakers colored themed shirt and long sleeve, the jeans, the kicks on his feet. Goaded outfit for Piccolo, in my opinion, and it should be in the game as well. One of the best sagas during the Z era was the Cell Saga because of how great Cell was as a villain, as well as watching Teen Gohan take over and win the Cell games. We did get something else special too the Goku 59 jacket outfit. It didn't get a lot of screen time if I remember correctly, but it's still incredible. The great thing about it is it doesn't look out of place on Goku because the orange makes him feel familiar. The jacket itself is popular for collectors out there and what better way to give it more exposure than putting it in Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. Wouldn't you agree? I know Trunks already has an outfit on this list, but so does Goku and Vegeta. If it looks good, we gotta mention it. Give him his bomber outfit from the history of Trunks movie. It looks a little more casual and less restrictive movement wise on the upper body than the original purple jacket, but don't get it twisted. He keeps that thang on him. And by thang, I mean the sword. The more outfits we have for our favorite characters, the better. You remember when Gohan got his potential unlocked became Ultimate Gohan? Well, during that process, he was wearing Supreme Kai's clothes. Why is that outfit not in the game, but Ultimate Gohan is? Gohan turning Super Saiyan in that outfit is freaking dope as hell, I can't front. Even though it does nothing for his power level, it's only for aesthetics. He underwent Old Kai's unlock ability, and having the outfit would pay homage to the Kai's, I'd like to think. One of the strongest humans in all of Dragon Ball, Krillin is here. He's putting you under arrest, if you were a bad guy that is. The police officer outfit from Krillin has got to be added in the game. Like, you can't tell me this wouldn't look cool on him. For someone that was always around stronger people, Krillin did pretty good for himself. Solid occupation, and his wife is Android 18, but he won. One of the most recognizable outfits in all of Dragon Ball is the orange gi that Goku wears. Towards the end of Z, when fighting Oob, he wears a blue gi instead. Would be a great addition to the game considering Oob is in the game, but the gi isn't. 
we have a Goku end of the character, but no blue gi? Seems like an oversight to me. Outfits and skins can help provide additional value to a game, even if it's cosmetic. Being able to fight as your favorite character in your favorite outfit too, that's a match made in heaven for any gamer. If you love fighting game content, drop a subscribe on the channel because I show gameplay, discuss topics, and more. Once again, if there are any other outfits that I missed and you want to mention it, do it in the comments. Your boy Street here, and I'll catch you on the flip side. Be easy.